Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are rebuilding the Detroit Pistons in NBA 2K24. So the Detroit Pistons were a very active team during the trade in line. I think we all know what they did. But they went ahead and traded for Quentin Grimes. They got Bojan Bogdanovic for him. They sent Bojan to the Knicks. They got Quentin Grimes. And then Evan Fournier, they also traded Alec Burks to them as well. They also went ahead and acquired Simone Fontecchio from the Utah Jazz. For not too much, I think we're just a couple second round picks. Um, I forgot. But they also got Malachi Flynn in the, you know, the New York Knicks trade. They also got Shake Milton and Troy Brown Jr. for Monte Morris. Really good trade for them. And then I believe earlier in the season they traded, um, I think it was Marvin Bagley for Mike Muscala and I think it was somebody else, but I'm not too sure about that. But um, you know, it was a very active um, trade deadline for the Detroit Pistons, and I feel like it was kind of successful, even though they didn't trade Bojan for a first. They got some really good pieces for him, like Quentin Grimes, and that that's really it. But I definitely think it was a really good trade for the Detroit Pistons. I think it was a you know a decent trade in line. They they traded the players they were supposed to, and I feel like they're in the running of you know I feel like this team is a really good team. It's just I, I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with them. I feel like they have great young pieces i feel like eventually they're going to be a really good team but we'll just have to see what happens maybe next year but um obviously i'll see you guys at the end of the season we're not going to make the playoffs we're 8 and 46 right now we're a terrible team so let's just get straight into the off season so at the end of the season, Nicole Jokic is your MVP, rookie the year from Inyama, six win goes Russell Westbrook, fifth player also goes to Wimbenyama, most improved Jalen Johnson, clutch player going to Giannis, the coach year going to Joe Mazzula of the Boston Celtics, but you know, on the first team, only a second team, only a third team, obviously, no Pistons representatives on any of these, but we do, I'm pretty sure we're going to get Marcus Sass, I don't know, we don't get Marcus Sass on an all-rookie team, which definitely sucks, I mean, there were a lot of guys maybe better, so I can uh, I can see it, but you know, heading into the playoffs, obviously we didn't make it. But one thing I can't show you guys is the player stats. So player stats here got about 23 from K Cunningham, 15 from Jay Navi. We, we had about 14, 11, and almost one block per game from Jalen Duran. We had 11 from Isaiah Stewart. We had 10 from Small Fontecchio, 9 from Sasser, 8 from Massar, 7 from Wiseman, and 7 from Quentin Grimes, Fournier 5, and then, you know, Shake Milton 5. Or, yeah, so let's just see who wins the NBA championship here. And in the finals, it's looking like we're going to have the Atlanta Hawks and the Dallas Mavericks. Interesting. We got the Mavericks going on to win the championship. Finals of AP going to Luka Doncic. So the Mavericks win the championship with, but uh, not. Bojan with um um Daniel Gafford and Peter Washington, so really good for them. Take a look at player tournaments here. None of our players is higher, so it really doesn't matter too much for us. Obviously, we're going to be in the lottery this year, so let's see what pick we're projected to get. And we're projected, I believe, um, pick four or three. Uh, I don't see us in there, but we'll see it. So, uh, in the draft, we have pick. So we have pick three in the draft, which isn't terrible. I actually love that. We're top three. Obviously, last year, we got, like, pick six or five, and it didn't really end up too good for us. But we have pick three in the draft. We have a chance of getting a really good player here. As you can see, the the top three players are Alex Sars, Zachary Thatcher, and Cody Williams. We also got guys like Robert Dillingham, Ron Holland, Jacoby Light. There's a lot of guys in this draft that I definitely think could go number one, definitely. So there's there, there's a lot of talent. And obviously, so Monty Williams. I don't think we fire him after one bad season. I mean, it's it definitely could happen, but let's go ahead and fill this out. I'm gonna grab myself a shot, doctor, and then post D coach, then a wing whisper, and then I will see you guys in the draft. I don't think we, I don't think it's necessary to trade anybody right now. I mean, we could necessarily maybe deal Quentin Grimes away. I feel like a lot of teams have interested him, but I, I want to keep Quentin Grimes. I feel like he can be a piece for the future as a backup two guard. So. Relatively, I like this team, you know, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to, like I said, fill this out. I'll see you guys in the draft.
All right, so let's hop into the draft here with pick three. So number one, we got Alex Sar going to the going to the Charlotte Hornets. Number two, we have Isaiah Collier going to the Wizards. And number three, we can take Zachary or Satcher, Cody Williams, Robert Dillingham. I don't think there's no need to take a point guard, but we can definitely. I don't think it's any usage of you know drafting guard right now. I definitely think we can use a forward here. Um, but you know it's interesting. So if you take a look at the team needs here, obviously our point guard is just locked up for the future. Two guard position might be locked up for the future as well. And then small forward, Asar Thompson. Obviously, I want him to be that for us, Fontecchio. So, I feel like the main thing is maybe a power forward. But the best power forward I hear is Matt Buzalis, which we could take him. But, obviously, I want one of these guys up here. Gonna lie, man. I think we go ahead and take Zachary here. So, Zachary Sasher, welcome to Detroit. And with pick 50, I'll go ahead and take, um, um you know, I'll take Kelware. And then, also, I have a third, second. I'll I'll take uh, I'll take Iguodala here and that'll conclude my draft. So I'll go ahead and you know draft three of these guys and then team and player options we have Jalen Dern obviously I'm gonna accept that no brainer Jay Navi also another no brainer I'm gonna accept Evan Fournier another no brainer we're gonna decline qualifying offers uh, Malachi Flynn um I'll, honestly I'm not too concerned about Wiseman or Malachi Flynn Simone Fontecchio I will extend the qualifying offer to though just in case so bird right here we got Mel Flynn, the only guy that you know we have in our bird right so take a look at the team right now Kate Cunningham and Marcus Thatcher this is going to be the point guard rotation for the rest of the video point guard rotation for the future right here unless we can't re-sign Kate Cunningham but most likely 100% this will be the point guard rotation for the rest of the video shooting guards we have Jay and Ivy and Quentin Grimes also shake Melton down here as well but this will most likely be the shooting guard rotation for the rest of the video anyway if we want to move Grimes we could but I don't plan on it Asar Thompson Zachary Rosatcher these guys I want them to develop as much as possible we also got Isaiah Stewart, which I don't know if I want him to be the power forward of the future. I feel like there's a lot I feel like there's a lot better options we can do than Jalen Dern the guy Kel Ware, so we definitely need a backup forward. We definitely need that for sure. Even though we do have a lot of money to spend, so we can either choose to go ahead and go out there and get a really good guy, or we can just go along with the process, maybe wait another year, see if we can tank again. But obviously, I don't want to tank. We're in win-now mode right now. I, I don't want to rebuild anymore. So let's see. We need a backup center and a backup power forward for now. So obviously, we can sign anybody here if we want to. We can go all in for a guy like Paul George. Let's go see Occam. Uh, Obviously, but I, I just want to stick with the realistic options here. So let's go down the list right now. All right, so starting with, I mean, okay, so LeBron, Paul George, Siaka, Maxi. Um, the guy I was kind of looking at here was Miles Bridges. Uh, I know it might not be the most appealing name, but over here, Miles Bridges, I feel like he could be a really good get. I mean, I feel like the Pistons would have interest in him. Like, he's less like a decent forward, in my opinion, so I would honestly wouldn't mind signing Miles Bridges here and overpaying him like a free agent on Miles Bridges. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to offer Miles Bridges a contract here. I'm going to offer him $25 million for three years. Um, I'm going to overpay a little bit on Miles Bridges. So um, let's say we sign Bridges to like a yeah, so like a three-year deal. And then we can sign Miles Bridges. Small Fontecchio wants to go to the Hornets. Um, I mean, we could go ahead and accept or decline that. I'm, I, I might just let him go to the Hornets, to be honest. So I'm going to decline that we're not going to bring Max Malfa on Techio since we have Zachary Rosatcher there. So Bridges, the Wiseman could go. And then, yeah, so Bridges is the only guy I'm going to sign right now. Um, no more Smalfa on Techio. So Miles Bridges is the new starting power forward. We'll have Isaiah Stewart off the bench. So I like that addition for sure. Now we need is a backup five. Now that we like go Wiseman, obviously. So let's see. All right, backup five is Mason Plumlee, Jalen Smith. How much money do we have left? We have a lot of money left. So about like 26, 29 million, I believe I saw. But the best center, backup center available is Mason Plumlee. So not the best option. So it, I'm kind of leaning towards trading for one. To be honest with you, LeBron is still here, but you know I'm kind of leaning towards trading for a backup five. We can sign Gogo Badaze. Um, I might just sign one. Give me, um, I mean, I don't really like any of these options, to be honest, as a backup center. So, we might trade for one. That's probably what I'm going to do. We have contracts. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and trade for a backup five.
there was no really options that made sense. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a Gogabadaza here to be our backup five for now. Uh, we might, you know, trade him at the deadline for a better one. It's probably what we're gonna do, and that's probably what we're gonna do. So, all right, now our benches were relatively filled out, even though we still have 20 more million left. So realistically, we could still spend this money, and I think we have to spend it on something. But I, I don't really see what we have to spend it on at the moment. I mean. We could go all in here for another guy, which is not really what I'm planning to do. We could go ahead and turn a manual quickly. We can do all that stuff. But like I said, there's not really nothing I have interest in doing right now. Patrick Williams can overpay on him, which, I mean, we already have a backup power for and Stewart. So I think we're fine. I know we have money, but to be honest, I think we're fine for now. We have a lot of money, but, you know, I think we're fine. So um, I know it's kind of weird having $20 million that we're not going to – Spend it on anything, but I don't see what to spend it on. So, progression, K Cunningham is up, Jay Nivey is up, Asar Thompson is up. So, uh, these are you guys developing, which is great. Thatcher is up, Grimes is up, Stewart is up, and then we have Malcolm going up as well. But obviously, I'm not too concerned about Okay, I kind of like the offseason here. We signed Miles Bridges, we got a new backup center. We let go of James Wiseman and some other guys. I definitely think we can make the playoffs this year. I mean, hopefully, let's download the draft class, and I will see you guys in the rotation. Here. So let's look at the rotation and see. We have to cut a player, so let's see who that'll be. So it'll, um, I'll go and cut, you know, Malcolm here. And then um, the rotation heading into the season is K. Cunningham, Jane Ivy, Asar Thompson, Miles Bridges, and Jalen Dern. I really like the starting five. And then we got Satcher off the bench, Zachary Satcher, Quentin Grimes, then Goga Bedase with Isaiah Stewart. So I like the rotation definitely. Most likely see you guys at the deadline. I mean, if we're good, we'll just leave it. But almost like you see you guys at the trade deadline and make a move. Maybe for a better backup center. We'll see. Jokic is the MVP again. But as you can see, we made the playoffs. We were the third seed in the Eastern Conference. We got to play Atlanta. So, the Hawks have Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, AJ Griffin, Dylan Johnson. And the rest of their team is kind of the same. But they added Kelly Oubre. So, Definitely interesting. It's definitely going to be tough, but we got 24 from Kate Cunningham, 15 from Bridges, 14 and a half from Ivy, 12 from Sasser, 12 from Dern, and 12 from Rissatcher. We got 10 from Asar Thompson. So obviously, I don't think we have a second, you know, score or star next to, um, you know, next to Kate Cunningham yet, which we might have to address that maybe in the offseason. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, I want Ivy to become that, but probably because his tendency is slow and, and probably because of that, but, you know, I expect him to develop by himself, but we might have to address that in the offseason. So, Atlanta, let's see if we can beat them in round one, and we are going to be in a close race with them, and we are going to go ahead and go to a game seven. All right, so game seven versus the, um, or the Atlanta Hawks. So let's see if we go win this right here. And then, yeah, so let's see if we can hop into the second round. Um, so it's a very close game heading into halftime. We're going to have the lead relatively, but we are going to go and win it. Let's go. 110 to 142. 26 from Sasser, 25 from Sasser, and 24 from Miles Bridges. So really good production out of our role players. Then we got Philadelphia. So Maxi, Melton, Buddy Heel, Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid, Tyus Jones, Paul Reed, Nicola, Sumner, and then Willie Hearn Goma. So it's obviously a really good team. But anything can happen, obviously, so let's see if we can beat this Philadelphia 76ers. And we are going to go to another Game 7. All right, so we're in a Game 7 with the Philadelphia 76ers. It's in Philly, so they might have home court advantage, but hopefully we can pull it off. And it's looking like, unless they don't come back at the end, we're going to pull it off. 134 to 127, 33 from Cade, 27 from Bridges, and 20 from Sasserman. Let's go. We're going to the Conference Finals to play Cleveland, so. So the Cavaliers are obviously a lot tougher than all those other teams. So let's see if they can win. They have they have literally the exact same team. But you know, game one they're gonna take. Game two they're gonna take. Game three we're gonna take. Game four we're gonna even it up. Game five we're gonna go up three to two. Oh man, uh, I thought we had it there. I thought we were gonna win four in a row. But game seven. Man, this is some pretty good basketball we're playing right here. But the Pistons might be going to the finals their first year, making it back to the playoffs. I don't know how long, but let's obviously we got to beat Cleveland first. It's in Cleveland, so um, we might be going home, and we are going to go home. 92 to 1, um, 116. We just didn't score enough for us to win, sadly. So 
Like I said, I hate how Kate Huddingham was the only one that had 21 points. We're obviously ready. We're ready. The Mavericks going on to win the championship, but we're obviously ready. We're definitely ready for the next step. So it's actually time to start pushing the championship here. So draft lottery is obviously we uh, obviously we didn't you know obviously we're not a taking team anymore, so we're not going to need the draft lottery to get better anymore. Even though we do have a couple second round picks, which honestly, I guess we'll go and draft here. I mean, second round picks are always valuable. So let's see. Um. I see Camp Scott, I'll take him, and then with the other pick, I'll go ahead and take um, TJ Power, so I'm going to take those guys. Um, I'm actually going to go only sign Camp Scott, so Jay and Ivy, I'm going to accept Duran Thompson, um, obviously Sasser and Kel Ware, I'm going to accept um, also, um, we'll accept Iguodala, sure. Offering offers, Quentin Grimes and Kate Cunningham, I'll accept free agency. Jason Tatum is a free agent. We actually have some money as well, but Kate Cunningham is a free agent, so we might have to spend that on him. So Cunningham, I'm going to resign. Quentin Grimes asking for absolute bags. Maybe we should have traded him. Wow, that's a lot of money. Um, the Malachi Flynn. Honestly, I'm going to wait to resign Quentin Grimes to see if there's anybody else in free agency we can sign just in case. So Kate Cunningham, I'm going to you know resign him. Quentin Grimes, that's a qualifying offer. Right. Yes, it is. All right. So, anybody better? Kater Levert. I see him out here. Um, and then yeah, Quentin Knox would be the best option realistically. So, uh, Cade Sasser. We got Jaden Ivy. We have Zachary Nassar. We have Bridges Stewart. We have Duran and Goga Badazi. So. Since we just made the finals, I think we're ready, to be honest. So let's say we stop at the deadline, and then we make a move there, because I think we're ready. I just have to see. So Grimes, all no, 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 yeah, let's refine Quentin Grimes. Let's give him a contract, and then maybe later we can go ahead and flip him at the deadline for, like, a star that we can pair with, um... Okay, cutting out. Let's wait for Quentin Grimes to sign. Finally, get Grimes back on, um, you know, 64 million. So, like I said, we're ready. I'm, I'm willing to stop at the trade the line and make a move here to see what we can do. See what, see what we can find, obviously. So, progression, everybody's up. Cuttingham, Ivy, Asar, Duran, Bridges, Marcus Sasser, Zachary Sasser, Grimes, Stewart, Bedazi. We got Kelware and Iguodala. The only person that didn't move was Cam Scott. He's a rookie. So, basically... Everybody went up overall, which is great, um, which is great progression, to be honest. So I will see you guys in, you know, the rotation, and we might have to make a couple moves at the deadline because I feel like there's still some holes in this team, definitely. Um, the main one being three-point shooting because last year, Asar Thompson freaking shot, let's see, he shot 13% from three. I mean, that that's – but – um. Obviously, he's not a good three-point shooter anyway, so your um, rotation is Cade, Ivy, Asar, Bridges, Duran, Sasser, or Satcher. Um, then we have Isaiah Stewart, and then Gogo Badazi. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and push, you know, Jay and Ivy's shot tendency up to, like, let's say 88. Then Asar can take some more shots if he wants to as well. Hopefully, he's not, you know, building a brick house with all those Bricks he was shooting from all obviously shooting 15% from three or even 13. He shot worse than his rookie year, which that doesn't usually happen. But most likely, I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. But if things are just clicking on all cylinders, we might not. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I didn't realize I wasn't recording, but basically, what we went ahead and did at the deadline is we acquired Jabari Smith Jr. Basically, it, it didn't show the full trade, which stinks. But basically, I traded a couple first round picks, I traded Quentin Grimes and Cam Scott for Jabari Smith Jr. So we get Jabari Smith. I went ahead and moved Zachary to the 2 and then I moved Bridges to the 3 since he went up to an 86 then Stewart at the 4. That's basically what we're doing. It sucks I wasn't recording but the rotation now is Cunningham, Ivy, Assard, Smith Jr., Jalen Dern, Miles Bridges, Marcus Satcher, Zachary Satcher, and Isaiah Stewart and with a Google Badazi. So that's your new rotation um, and I'm simulating right now we're 44 and 19, so I'll just keep going. At the end of the season here, we finish off as the number one seed. We got Indiana. Um, so honestly, they just added Gary, Gary Trent to the team, and that's really all they did. Mitchell, Brace Allen, and Jalen McDaniel. So <sighs> player stats we got 21 for K Cunningham, 17 for Ivy, 14 for Smith, 14, 13, 13, and then 13 again. So like I said, and then so let's see. All right, Indiana round one. 
Let's see if it can beat the seventh seed Pacers. And yes, we do. Now we got Miami. They have Jamal Murray. They have Tyler Hero, Hame Hawkins, Nikola Jovic, Bam, Rozier, Stefan, and Hama. Hama. Uh, I'm going to be off the bench with Gord Hayward and then Orlando Robinson. So I was struggling with his name for a sec. But Hama Diallo and then um, Stefan Cassell. And then we have, um, yes, yeah, so we'll see if we can beat them. They have a pretty decent team. We're going to sweep them. Never mind. Now we got Atlanta. Um, Curry Young, DeJounte Murray, DeAndre Hunter, Jalen Johnson, Yankee, okay, Kungu, Kelly, Oubre, Bogdan, Bogdanovich, AJ, Kobe, and, um, you know, Kayla Martin. So, game one, we're going to take game two, we're going to take game three, and then game four. We sweep them as well to get Oklahoma City. So, okay, see, Shea, Giddy, Lou Dort, Dan Williams, Shet Holmgren, Trey Mann, Keith Walls, Isaiah Joe, Andre Drummond, D'Anthony Melons. It was my day. So, Another really, really good team. You only beat them. They got Trey Mann back. I don't know how they were able to do that, but they got Trey Mann back. All right. Game one, we're going to take game two. We're going to take game three. We're going to sweep the Thunder. We're going to beat them at five. No, bro. No, no. no I'm not doing this, bro. Let's let, let's not lose by the Thunder again. We had a 3-0 to zero lead. If we choke this, I swear I'm never doing the rebuild ever again. And we might be choking it. We're, we're gonna choke a three to fucking zero lead. Um, there, there's no, there's no way we choke a three to zero lead, right? There's, let's just win it in seven. There's no way we choke this hard, man. Like, there's zero way we choke this hard. It's in Detroit. There's no way we should lose by the Thunder and choke it. We did it. We had to choke a three to zero lead. I'm done. That 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 just made me wanna quit. That that seriously just made me wanna quit. Oh my gosh, bro. I one shot of winning a champ okay. You know what? Uh, I'm running it back another year. There's no way. There's no way, right? There's no way. I am not ending it like this. I'm running it back another year. Alright, so at the end of the season here, I'm still mad about how we blew blew a three one lead to the Thunder, but now they're even better. They're the one seed. Um, they, they added Vince Williams to the core, they added, they added David Roddy, Floyd Drake, Powell, Isaiah. Like, they're, 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 they're not going to get worse, ever, ever in 2K, but we got Orlando. They got Black, Darren Peterson, Jimmy Butler, Paul Ben Carroll. Honestly, I don't care. Let's just hurry up and make it to the final, because I know we're going to make it again. I know we're going to agree with the Thunder. Now we got Toronto. They have a washed-up Harden. Um, obviously, he's a 78 overall, 37 years old, like I said. Teams are gonna be good. Let's just get straight to the fun. See that I say that we losing seven to the Donner Raptors. So I don't. I, I I'm still trying to figure out how we lost this team too, man. But I don't, couldn't win a championship, and the Thunder got eliminated in round one. Come on, bro. Like, and they got eliminated. We had the we we had the Pacers. In the champion, we could have we could have beat this team. We could have definitely beat this team. Man, that that sucks. That sucks. Actually, pretty bad. But not gonna go another year. My champion, my no championship streak goes on. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.